I just want to go straight to the word of God. Let's go straight to the book of Hebrews chapter 1. Amen. Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1. The Son is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of His being, sustaining all things by His powerful weight. After He had provided purification for sins, He sat down at the right hand of the Majesty in heaven. Amen. 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 I only want a verse 3. Uh, my version says, He is the radiance of the glory of God. And the exact imprint of his nature. Yes. And he upholds the universe by the word of his power. That's the part I want us to dwell in. He upholds the universe by the word of his power. Praise God. I want to talk about the God that destroys. Somebody say the God that destroys. We all know a God as a God that creates. But he is also the God that destroys. We know him as a God that forms. But he is also a God that deforms. We know him as a God that builds. But he is also the God that demolishes. He is a God that destroys. Not every time you comes to build. Is in a good time to come to destroy. A good time to appear to destroy. A good time to come to demolish. A good time to break. A good time to come to sin. A good time to come to sin. A good time to come to sin. Hallelujah. Yes. They've been saying the world is coming to an end. But when it They've been saying this and that will clash or will, will break the earth. But they have read this morning that the God we serve he upholds the earth. And by the word of his power. Can I tell you that the world is not held by anybody? Come on, come on, you fat, you have to make a word. Yes. Am I talking to somebody? That means before anything breaks the earth, it has got to break the word of his power. That is there anything too hard for the Lord? Amen. 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 By the word of his power. Now, how much more about your finances? If he upholds the whole earth, how much more about your finances? He is the God that upholds your finances by the power of his word. He is the God that upholds your marriage by the power of his word. He is the God that upholds your family by the power of his word. Don't go around trying to find and make things worse. Don't go and find the water and oil. But learn to know the word that upholds your life. Without his word, your life is nothing. Hallelujah. Yes. He upholds your life. 
by the word of his power some say good preaching if it was sin for his word but he was preaching to him one sinner says we should have died along the way but because his word has been present why you are still standing the Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God so that word holds the earth hallelujah yes he lifted me up. We were singing here the own palm is from the deep multi class it in turn. If somebody has got to lift you up, he first has got to come and stand where you are standing. Then when he lifts you up, even he how palm is you are no longer standing where you were standing. When a house I am more than the only one standing where you are standing. Hallelujah. We say Jesus came down. He left the place where he was standing. And he came to the place where you are standing. And he took you up. And you are no longer standing where you used to stand. You have a better platform. You have a better platform. That is Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. When he lifts you up, she stands in your shoes. And the devil comes and he comes to where he left you. He no longer finds you. But when he finds someone standing in your place, he doesn't fight you anymore. Because you are no longer there. He finds a better man to fight. He finds himself fighting with God. Listen to this. Now you have got the view of the king. Now you are standing on the king's view. You are not standing in the servant's view. You are standing on the king's view. Yes. So say things the way God say things. Amen. Yes. Last week I spoke about the hiding place. So the word, the world will be destroyed at some point. But it's not going to be destroyed by all those things that we hear out there. It's going to be destroyed by God himself at his own time. And nobody knows that hour. But he provided Jesus so that we can be in Jesus. So that when he destroys every 
everything else. We are in the hiding place. So that in in brought Jesus. So that whoever that believes in him. May have everlasting life. Even in the time of destruction. Somebody say good preaching right here. I'm going to talk about four points. The second point. I'm going to talk about is found in, 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 in Genesis chapter 6. Hallelujah. Yes. Now we're hearing about God that created the earth by himself without anybody assisting him. He created the earth. But because of the presence of wickedness on the earth, the same God comes and says, I will come and wipe up the man that I created. The man that I created and I said it is good. But because of the wickedness in them, I will destroy what I have created. I will not wait for the devil to come and kill them. I will break them with the hands I created them with. Because I hate sin. Hallelujah. Yes. There is Valinda. God created the earth himself and he said it's good. But at this time he says I'm not coming to form the earth. I'm coming to destroy the earth. But I like him before he decided to break the earth. He spoke a word to one man. Because before God does anything in my life, he speaks a word to somebody. And he makes us hear the word he spoke to somebody. Hallelujah. Before God destroys or before God builds, before God takes Israelites out of Egypt, he spoke a word to somebody. He spoke a word to, to Moses. But before he breaks the earth, he speaks a word to Noah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Before God does anything in your life, he speaks a word to somebody. There is a word that God has spoken about your life. Yes. That is why we have got churches today. Because that's a form in which God uses to speak his word to people. But I said last week, I don't long to have a big church. I long to have uh, all the people that God has given me the word for. Hallelujah. Yes. Because I can I, I can advertise and do everything in this place will be full. But I speak, but people do not get where I'm going. This word doesn't even help them. Hallelujah. Yes. But I, I, I believe in a God that gives me a word and it gives me the ears to hear the word. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah, church. Yes, yes. So before God destroyed the earth, we see him going to Noah. And he tells him to build a hiding place. When his time comes to destroy the earth. And he does not force people to go to the hiding place. He tells them that whoever that believes must go to the hiding place. And they will be saved during the time of destruction. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So we live in the world whereby there is the devil who came to kill. He came to steal and to destroy. But Jesus came so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. So in other words, in the dying world, God is providing a hiding place. 
the Lord is something during the times of Noah. He gave people an opportunity to get into the hiding place. The rain did not start until all the people who wanted to get in and got in. Now Jesus will not come back until everybody has had an opportunity to get in here. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes.